I just want to remind everyone of the central role that ikhlas plays in all of this, that sincerity plays in all of this. So sincerity means uh, a few things. It guards your intentions and it guards your integrity. Um, guarding the integrity with sincerity uh, or ikhlas being a means of guarding your integrity means that you will not be uh, taken to, a, uh, to an improper direction um, out of a desire to just uh, succeed at any cost. Uh, ikhlas on the other side means that uh, being the hero sometimes means being the person that is completely behind the scenes, that is not celebrated in this life, but that produces in some way, shape or form movement and thrust that is able to really shift things uh, for, for, for the greater good. And so. Uh, in, in Islam, legacy is not how you're going to be remembered. Legacy is how you're going to be resurrected, which is why that you, you're a witness against yourself on the day of judgment. We, we should be preparing as Muslims for that day, right? So I don't care if, if there is a statue or a, a good obituary or people remember me here. I want to be remembered over there, right? But I want work to be done that will help me for that day when I meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so when the Prophet Sallallahu talks about Al-Harith wal hammam the one who plows the field, the one who grows the crops, as Asdaq al-Asma, the most truthful of names. Uh, we are at our best as a community when everyone sort of works in their space and says, how can I use the God-given talents that I have or the God-given resources that I have to be a part of constructing something that's going to be pleasing to him, Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so there are a lot of Sahaba that we don't even really know about but that were essential pieces to some of the, the core turning points in Islam's history, in the very early stages of Islam, right? And people don't recognize them, but Allah knows them. Surely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows them. And so what I, what I tell people and what I tell myself bin Allahi ta'ala is that, uh, you know, Imam al-Shafi rahimahullah, he said, I wish that my ilm, my knowledge would spread and my name would not be mentioned with that knowledge. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored him to where his name was spread as well with that knowledge. Uh, what, what I tell myself and everyone else is to think about how you can be a part of making the greatest impact possible without necessarily accruing or accumulating the greatest accolades to match that in this life. Keep your focus on the hereafter. And that will protect your integrity and it will protect your intention, inshallah ta'ala. And the way that we do that is a lot of private worship and generating in ourselves a deep desire to be seen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amongst those that are pleasing to him. And a lot of private good deeds outside of your public good deeds. So what should match your public worship is your private worship. And what should match your public work is your private work as well. So keep a you know keep a good balance between those two things, inshallah ta'ala. And don't worry about the credit and don't worry about the reputation. Worry about the compensation in the hereafter and the resurrection and the legacy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of the day.